name is Alan and as you can see in the beginning of this video well I just thought what could be a more Taiwanese thing for me to do other than riding my scooter to school so yeah that's what I do all right today's video is going to be a quick update um, the three things I want to talk about uh, the first thing is I've paired up my Dorcas anti use beetles and I'm gonna put the female into the laying box once I got home and the second thing is well I've purchased a vintage motorcycle uh, it's kind of a impulsive decision but yeah I just you know it's just such a good looking bike it looks so elegant yeah you know when you're manually shifting the gears that tactile feeling really bounds a machine to a man you know so yeah it's a it's an experience that you really cannot describe with words um, do I regret it well I haven't but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure but you know I'm expecting to mount myself on the bike on Saturday uh, this week All right, the third thing is, well, I need to mention a traditional festival of Chinese. Um, there's a festival called Tomb Sweeping Festival. And on that day, we honor our ancestor, ancestors by sweeping their tombs because they are not being taken, not, they are usually not being taken care of for for a whole year so on that day we will sweep their tombs and on that vacation I've swapped all the old um, substrate for my larva that is about two weeks ago and the following things is related to the tomb sweeping festival a little bit so that in that morning uh, I've done all the tomb sweeping, so I'm really exhausted, um, and I just, you know, go straight through for my beetles, so I didn't take any rest, and it's just, wow, I just couldn't do any kind of video recording work at that time, so I just randomly took some pictures here and there, so I'm gonna phrase it with my words, and um, just, you know, let you guys know what's the current situation now. All right, so I'm gonna only tell you the male stats because that's what I remembered. Um, all right, for the CCK males, um, they're ranging from 68 grams to 80 grams, and that's pretty good. And for my OB larva, the heaviest male is I think it's 33 or 36 grams, and for my D Neptunus larva. They are all 20-ish grams at this point. Um, yeah, but they they sounds a little bit lighter to you know other larvae that I had. But you know they do tend to grow a little bit slower than other species of dynasties. So I'm not too worried about that because um, you know their their skin felt healthy to me um, when you're when you put a healthy larva in your hand you can detect by you know how that how, 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 how do I call it the elastic I'm not sure when you you know slightly you know put your finger on to the skin of that larva it would rebound pretty fast and if it leaves a damp on their skin oh man you got a big problem there with your larva yeah so I'm not too worried about my larva because they all seem do a, doing a pretty good job uh, yeah I'll be seeing them in two months all right I'll see you guys in the next video bye